Today we're going to be speaking about the build menu in Visual Studio. We're going to be discussing what the difference is between the build, rebuild, clean options are, when you should use each one, and what their relationship to the configuration manager is. Right, let's get started. First option is the build solution. What this does is it compiles all our source code into an executable and, or a library. It will first run a check of any syntax errors, it will resolve any dependencies which the project need, and it will generate any of our output files that we that we require so you'll use this whenever you've made changes to your solution and you want to compile your code into a running form then we have the clean solution this will remove any of the intermediate or output files that have been generated due during previous builds use this when you have any weird build issues that have been caused from outdated files or corrupted files from your previous builds cleaning the solution make sure you start with a clean slate Rebuild solution just combines the previous two steps together where it first removes any of the output files from previous builds and then will perform a build of the application or the solution. Start with debugging, run your application in a special mode that allows you to pause the execution of the application and gives you the option to inspect variables and step through the code line by line. There's a certain amount of overheads incurred when running in debug mode. So if you don't have a particular reason, if you don't actually want to step through code and in inspect variables, you should always use the run. It'll save you a couple of seconds each time you run the build. So depending on how big your project is and how long it takes to build, you're definitely going to save yourself some time if you just do a run without debug debugging rather than running it with debugging every time you want to test your application. Then as far as the folders are concerned, you'll see that you have a folder called the, the bin folder, which is short for binary. That stores your binary files, your executables and your DLLs, etc. that are produced whenever you perform a build. Whether you find the files being created in the release folder or the debug folder depends on your configuration being set up in the configuration manager. If your projects are set to debug, your files are going to be generated in the debug folder, whereas if they've been set to release, you'll find them being created in the release folder. You can set these individually. There is also a shortcut up here. If you change the release options, this will go in and change all projects in your solution to that release configuration so that your files are getting um, generated in the release folder. Confusingly though, and I'm not sure why Visual Studio allows this, if you have your configuration set to release, but you still hit F5 to start debugging, you'll get this warning telling you that uh, you're in release mode, but you're trying to debug it. And what are the options? You can still go ahead and continue debugging with the release mode. You'll find that some of the options for your step throughs and inspections won't even work. I would just avoid this altogether make sure you're actually set to debug whenever you want to actually debug your code using F5. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.